From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. South African rail, port and pipeline company Transnet subsidiary Transnet Freight Rail in October officially reopened the Cookhouse Blaney branch line in Eastern Cape. Tasneem Bulbulia tells us more. The investment into rehabilitating and reopening this line follows renewed interest from the business community to transport beverages and other fast-moving consumer goods products, cement and containers with auto parts between two hubs. So in addition to the Transnet Freight Road teams, this mammoth effort was made possible by our government partners, our local communities and our sister companies within Transnet. Uh, TPT, TNPA, and all of the rest. This railway line, which is over 200 kilometers long, traverses through three municipalities, two district municipalities, and a metro municipalities. And these are Blue Crane, the Raymond Mshlaba, Amathlati local municipalities, Amatole, and the Sara Abatman district municipalities, and Buffalo City metro municipality. Transnet took the decision to upgrade and reopen the line for business after it had been closed for over five years. And the refurbishment began in September 2020 and was completed at the end of March 2021 at a cost of over 26 million. And during the course of this project, we provided short-term employment opportunities for over 100 citizens across the local municipalities. There are so many benefits provided by reinstating this line. It reduces the time it currently takes by train from East London to Tabeja by almost half. Ordinarily, the train trip between these two cities would have taken 36 hours. And with the reopening of the branch line, we have been able to reduce this to 18 hours. So on the 22nd of, uh, of June 2021, we ran our first test train successfully. And over time, we are working to reduce the transit time to 15 hours, but the test train we ran over certain hours. Because faster and more efficient transport times mean quicker turnarounds and more opportunities to increase volumes. It also means cost-effective traveling solutions for people moving goods between the two biggest economic centers in the Eastern Cape. We anticipate a boost in potential customer traffic in the movement of supplies, such as beverages and other fast-moving consumer goods, including fruit and agricultural products, um, the movement of cement from the uh, Beche, and the movement autom of automotive components to and from East London. Reopening this branch line forms part of Transnet's strategy to enable and support economic development in the region, including some of the work that is being done in the East London port expansion. And we believe that, I mean, through the continued rehabilitation of strategic unused railway lines, it will actually help us to support the economic development in this area. This line additionally provides an important inbound transit for rail between the East London IDZ and the Kucha IDZ. Further for us, it is also a mitigation solution for the Port Elizabeth main line in case of any disruptions uh, between Cookhouse and DR. This is especially important to us given the alarming rate of cable theft that we are experiencing across our network. This project is just the beginning of what we hope will be a success story that opens up many other opportunities. And I am pleased to announce that TFR will be inviting private sector participation for the operation of this branch line. We will ensure that the proposals received, during, uh, received bring real long-term benefit to the region and are sustainable. The RFP for the Cookhouse Blaney branch line is set to be published at the end of November 2021, and we anticipate that if all goes well, the successful partner can come on board by June of 2022. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. 
Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our Engineering News daily email newsletter.